Hi everyone, it's Athena and welcome back to my channel. All right, it's Monday, the 30th of November, 2020. We are in a full moon lunar eclipse in Gemini. So what does that exactly mean? It means that what we wanna do is we want to communicate clearly. We want to, as Geminis do, see both sides of the picture of what the situation, whatever it may be, and make sure that we use our words in a nice manner so that we don't, we're not cutting and hurting other people's feelings, but yet being very clear about what it is that you're communicating, right? So communication is huge. Um, looking at the eclipse, we know that we're eclipsing things out of our lives. Clearly, we are, but it's also about, sorry, I'm sorry about the noise. Um, it's also about understanding other people's point of view, points of view, and like, as we well know, certain people, places, and things are being eclipsed out in order to bring in the new, right? The cycles of the moon are... This is how the cycles of the moon show us where we are at the time of our lives and also in what aspect of the astrological planet it's in and all of, so you know, the moon, the stars, the sun, all of earth is within us. So it affects each and every one of us, however it does, differently, right? But in the same token, the underlying theme is depending on where it lands, right? Wherever the moon is, that speaks of us dealing with our emotional needs and or releasing of things that need to be released. So understand that no moon is the same, no sun is the same, and the stars configure in the atmosphere to help us to progress, right? We're here to progress and evolve. So understand that when we say it's a new day, that's literally what we're meaning. It is a new day. Every, every aspect of the planets and the sun and the moon and the stars, they revolve and they are ever changing. And so are we because of that. Okay. So that's the first thing. The second thing is I want to say, I want to just say thank you so very much to each and every one of you who have reached out commenting. I went yesterday as I went live, right? And I couldn't, I, I noticed that my settings and I have not been reading my comments. And so I went through the whole year 2019 to this point of 2020 and I read each and every one of your comments and I cannot thank you enough. It has been very, very heartfelt. Um, I'm so grateful to each one of you. I'm grateful for all of my viewers. I'm grateful for everyone that has commented and reached out for a reading, but more than that, it's just, it really, you guys are so sweet. Thank you. Um, it means a lot to me, and I do apologize for not getting into my comments sooner as I've been neglectful on that on that end. Um, so when I went live yesterday, right, I couldn't get the comments. The feed wasn't working because of, I believe, the settings. So I went in and changed the settings, especially, you know, YouTube is always changing things. As you can see, even... Even social media changes as we're changing and evolving, right? So I'm thinking I, I fixed it, but if I didn't, if I did not, we'll find out on Tuesday. I mean, right? We will just keep going. I will keep going. And I'll do a reading. I'll do whatever it takes until I get it, you know, until I get it right. Okay? So, um... Unfortunately, I, it's not like I have someone here helping me, so I'm pretty sure I got it figured out. I had to change a few things in my settings. Now, if that's not the case, then I will just keep plugging along until I figure the reason of that. 
I have different, you know, anyway. So let's not get into that. Now, let's get into the collective reading for today, the 30th of November, 2020. I am going to go live. I did go live a little later because I wanted my friends in Australia to, to say hi. I wanted to shout out to them. I have actually have some really nice comments from Australia. So thank you, Australia. And thank you, Greece. And thank you to all who are near and or far. I really am so grateful. Thank you. I can't thank you enough. I really can't. I, I'll, and I want to get into a live that we can do. I can just do like, hey, just shoot me a question and I can answer or I can help, you know, not answer, but I can help. Okay, so we see the sun, right, came out because we have to understand the, the how important it is to understand how everything affects us because we are part of Mother Earth. The sun, the moon, the stars, right? The effects of, of the planetary aspects affect what's within us, our emotions, our, our communication, how we, how we can let things go, how we don't let things go. Things like that are all part of the whole package, you know? All right, let's get started. This is a general reading, mind you, for... Whomever, oh, look at the moon showed up. There it is. Patience is a virtue. First thing, just let's be patient, patiently allowing things to unfold the way they are in divine timing, right? As you see the sun, and or I'm sorry, the sun is setting, right? The moon here, it's, an, it's coming into another day. But this is like the effects that it has on our emotions, the water, and our physicality, right? Mind, body, soul here, connection oh, to the all. And that's what Spirit's saying here. How we are all connected, how universe, how spirit guides us through the emotional uh, waters and through our physical, you know, energetic levels. That changes. Everything changes because the earth is ever changing, okay? All right, so there's something that we want to start, but it's not time yet, or we want a new whatever, a new job, a new something that is going to matter, something we that's tangible, N new job, new project, new business, whatever that is, you have to allow this whatever is being eclipsed out now with the full moon lunar eclipse happening tonight, allow that to transform into this will turn around, right? This is a card that will ultimately then be the beginning, right? The end and the new. Wow, that makes complete sense, right? Okay, good, right? Because what we've been feeling is not so not so hot, right? Are we, what end of the spectrum here, when you look at this card, are you the giver or are you the receiver? Are you the beggar and, and or are you asking for help? Do you need help? Um, it could be financial, but it could also be, where's your time being spent? Is your time being spent, right? in the way that is being utilized to the best of your ability. So here we have someone who may need to supplement their income by starting something new or adding something to their business or, their, or something that will supplement, right? To make the Six of Pentacles, right? Where it's even is something uneven because this is a five, right? And is it going to, this will balance it out. Whatever it is that's imbalanced, it, this will balance it out. It'll make it a six. So we need to give it another, what, week? Probably not, more like a month. 
So when this reverse, when this, sorry, when this comes upright after the reversal, when it becomes upright, then we have the six of pentacles, which is the yin and the yang. So that's what the spirit is doing. That's what the universe is doing. It's eclipsing out the imbalances in our, our life so that we can become balanced, right? Right now there's an imbalance because it's shif shifting. Things are shifting and moving according to the way of, right? Whatever ends, ends. Whatever, you know, begins, begins. But it needs, the shifting needs to take place. And that's what the universe is saying here, right? Mind, body, soul connection, right? So no more worrying about how this is going to turn out, right? No more... Um, sleepless nights we're we're getting out of our head space we're maybe with this this eclipse we're realizing how we can and can't control certain things that happen in our lives there are certain things that end and now we're not sitting here like wrecking our brain as to why things are happening why people are not feeling right now balanced because of the fact that there are things that need to take place, need to shift. But the good news is that what we're focused on is just allowing this to turn around. So in the process, just kind of like taking a back seat, so to speak, and letting universe move this through. Because of this, of course. Endings. Final. Finality. It's the finality of things that you were uncertain about at one time. And probably lost a lot of sleep. Probably might have lost some money in the meantime. Right? But the universe is changing all of this up so that we can start new. And that's what's happening. So this, this particular spread is about how the imbalances are now finally getting recalibrated to allow for a new beginning for each one of us. We need to heal through this. This is the time for all who have undergone this to heal from. And to, to take a minute. Take a minute and not necessarily think about it, but maybe start feeling, be more in your in how your body's feeling through this process. Are you aware, question, of how the planetary aspects affect you every month? How the moon affects your emotions for sure. And how things are ironically very similar as we are all coming together to find certain endings in our lives so we can heal and make room for new beginnings. I mean, that's what this is, right? Understanding how that affects us is really important. Why? Because then you can, you can not be in your head about it and obsessively overthinking. Probably in the past, this was an obsession. How am I gonna how am I gonna make this better? How can I change things? And if this were upright, it would be a an over obsessive person thinking, how am I gonna get more money, more time? I need more time, more money, blah 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 blah. Obsessively thinking because of an ending, right? The end of a contract, contracts, tangible things. The end of tangible things, the end of money coming in that you maybe relied upon, the end of situations where people were not right balancing your world. This there was a clear imbalance. That's why this is reversed. These are imbalances, and now you're not instead of overly obsessing about it, you've what you may have come to the terms or will come to the understanding, understanding, 
that now there's nothing you can do about it, but release it, let it go, and heal from. Right? A complete surrender. As you can see, she's naked as she is too. She has the, the um, sheer of every chakra here. Sheer, um, you know, scarves or whatever you want to call it, right? Covering her body, showing the healing taking place and needing patience in order to, to do that, okay? So emotional healing, physical healing for sure right after something has happened where we need to put an end to all of that craziness and so this will allow for a new start but right now take your time do not do anything and don't do anything um i feel like you don't want to do anything don't make any rash harsh moves you're not you're not going to do anything he's looking right at her Meaning, don't do anything until you're whole again. Your heart has to heal completely whole. Once your heart is whole again, how do you know that? Because then it doesn't affect you. And these cards would be upright. This card would be upright. Actually, it's just this one. The Ace of Pentacles will be upright. In your heart, this is the heart. This is the heart. And the and the um, depiction of, you know, the deer is born free, right? We are born free and we, we are alone. And this reverse is give it another month. At least give it another month to balance things out again, to feel freedom, finally free from this heart break and to be whole again. This is the heart. This pentacle is the biggest heart ever. Okay. That will give you that will give you your freedom. You just need to give it time. And this is obviously here about now waiting for love, wanting love, wanting this true love that you have dreamt about. Right? He's not there. He's not real. He's her, like, he's the one that she dreams of at night coming to rescue her, so to speak, right? Look at another full moon, all right? So, and that's exactly what he will do. This is the Gemini card, by the way. Once this becomes, once the heart has healed, and this turns around a new beginning, a new start. In he will tangible, he will become in the 3D. Now he's in 5D. Do you get that? 5D are your dreams, your astral plane, your meeting in the astral world. Okay. And when this reverses, this is where you're meeting in the astral plane. This is when he will come to be tangible in your world or she. It's a he, though, because it's him looking at her. So that will transpire probably in another month. Right? Okay. We have all the signs here. So let's not be... So I only said that because of Gemini moon. So this could be affecting Gemini moon people a lot. Okay? And look at... He's now ready. He just came. Look at that. He's coming. One month. By Christmas. This may be someone's Christmas present. This may be someone's tangible, a tangible love of a lifetime. He's finally coming. He got off. Look at. He got off his horse and is coming to her. Or him doesn't matter what gender it is that you prefer. It's happening. Wow. So by Christmas, you guys. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow, right? King of Pentacles. 
Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, with potentially a Gemini moon or a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio moon, or we're dealing with Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and Sag. So, this could also be a lucrative deal. It could be business and pleasure. It could be, it really could, because you see here, right? I think it's, honestly, I feel it's like the one. I think it's coming. I do. I think it's definitely coming once this pentacle, the pentacle after this healing takes place. This is where this king will be ready to come forth. He is coming with less than you. He may not come to you the same as you saw him at one point or her. Someone coming in that you've known before, or it's someone who you've had a past life with before. We have Leo here. Let's kind of unfold the story here from these cards up here, okay? So let's say the King of Pentacles, he's the guy, he's the guy that's coming in with a tangible, I wanna be with you for the rest of my life. I mean, he was just here last week. So he's still healing, okay? So he's the one. He's the one. And he's ready, but you have to give him a month. Okay, he may not be coming the same exact way that he, you once found him. I don't know. You found, you may find him stronger than right what kills you what doesn't kill you make you stronger that's what this is what doesn't kill you makes you stronger someone who might have been someone that you used to know someone you've wished upon wow right and here look Someone who's gone within and now has taken back his life. He's crossing the bridge, right? Crossing the bridge with that scroll of knowledge and wisdom that he's learned. He's gone through the dark night of the soul because he's crossing the bridge now to the, to the other side. Wow. That's beautiful. We do have Virgo, Aries... Gemini, Taurus, Capricorn, Saggy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay? Wow. Beautiful reading. Just give it a month. Let's take an oracle card for this beautiful reading and see what's happening here. It looks like someone went through a huge... Ten of Swords moment, right? The end. The end. I think that it's going to just take... You just need to allow people to heal on their own time. And then when they come, you know, they may come and want to just... They may just not want to talk. They just... Because I, I don't see any swords here. I think when someone that is hurting comes to you, allow them the freedom not to talk and to just be with them, right, in, in heart space, in your heart space. Okay? All right. Ascension. There it is. Someone has ascended. Someone lost everything, and that's what really happens. It, you have to lose it all. It's, 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 you, it's not 
you have to. It's just the process of death and rebirth. You must realize the things that did not serve you came to an end. People, places, and things. And then when you go through something that hits you so hard, this is not a joke. This is not, this is not a joke. This is someone who thought they were going to die. Right? Not a near-death experience here. I think he finally, this king, I think he finally realized that he couldn't control anyone else but himself. So that's what pushed him into forward movement of the ascension. He went through the dark night of the soul for sure. He has gone through it all. And this will give him one more month to heal completely. I'm just saying, that's that's just, un, it's like, okay, give it a month, maybe whatever, however long this happens. He needs is however long he should take. I'm using he because it's depicted here as the divine masculine, okay? But he is taking ultimately his power back right here. And so what he's doing is he's ascending. He has finally realized that what it is that he lost is for, first of all, for the betterment always, right? But spirit, this was, this was one of those, you know, you hate to say it, but it's one of those blessing in disguises, whatever has ended. And whatever has literally tore someone, tore someone's heart out, out, you know, you get to that point where you're like, oh my God, right? And then at the lowest point of this, right, comes the healing process, you know? So however long this has taken in terms of when it happened, right, to where we're at now. He's gone through the dark night of the soul only to ascend and cross that bridge. Right? He gained a lot from this. And that's how you grow. That's how you evolve. And we realize how we evolve through... The sun, the moon, the stars. And now it is a new day. And this, and this king is going to now empower himself to take back his life with the knowledge of going through the dark night of the soul and realizing now the pain that he has suffered as well as probably others have suffered forgiving those who have hurt him or that he's hurt because it works both ways, right? And now finding a sense of freedom, he's flying, <laughs> finding a sense of freedom through the process. Okay, now it's like almost 30 minutes, sorry. Okay, so thank you again. I'm gonna go live tomorrow. I think around 10 a.m. Pacific time. Uh, if you can catch me, great. That would be wonderful. I thank you and I send you much love. And thank you.